The hacksaw is the most basic of the metal cutting saws. And surprisingly enough, even with all the cutting tools that I have, sometimes the hacksaw is the right tool for the job. The advantage of the reciprocating saws is that there are so many blade types available, whether it's for wood, metal, or plastic. Cutting metal with a saw is a slow process. Here I'm cutting a piece of 3 8 inch square hot rolled steel. I've never actually timed a cut, but in this cut I did time it, and it took over 30 seconds just to cut this 3 8 inch piece of steel. I've used a Johnson saw, which is a heavy duty industrial saw, and even it is slow. Cutting through some 3 quarter inch steel tubing. And incidentally, this is a brand new blade. As you can see, the cut is a little rough and it will take some filing to remove the burrs. For me, the reciprocating saw is a great tool for rough cutting. But if I wanted to cut a line down here, a straight line, I would find it very difficult. On the other hand, let's say that the reciprocating saw was the only saw I had, I could probably learn how to do it. Here I'm using a jigsaw to cut off a section of 3 quarter inch steel tubing. And in this case I'm using a coarse blade, that's coarse as opposed to fine, so I won't get a real fine cut. But I will be able to cut off a piece. And incidentally, looking for some tubing one day, didn't want to go to a big warehouse, I just picked up a chair at the Goodwill. And it had plenty of tubing for my purposes at the time. Once again, using the jigsaw, I have the jigsaw upside down and the blade is reversed. Right here, I'm using a very fine blade, fine as opposed to coarse. Now, for some reason, the camcorder doesn't pick up the speed of the blade. And I would assume that the blade is running at about 300 strokes per minute. If you like this idea of using the jigsaw on this position, you'll find some companies that offer tables so that the jigsaw can be mounted underneath the table. Also give you a larger work surface. The trick here is to keep the metal tight to that base. As you can see right there, it just wasn't tight enough to the base and it jumps, which can mar the cut. One of the reasons that I'm showing the jigsaw is because so many people have a jigsaw. And with so many different type of blades available, it becomes a very versatile cutting tool, including cutting metal. Here's a close-up. You can see that this is quite an acceptable job. Good fine cut, fine again as opposed to coarse. This is a tool holder that I've made so that I can mount, let's say, an electric drill, or in this case the jigsaw, and secure it in a vise, thus leaving both hands free. This holder is rather ugly. And I do hope in the future that I can make one that has a more finished appearance. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing. With the jigsaw, I can also cut out shapes. But holding the metal tight to the base of the jigsaw, that's the secret to getting a fine cut. Plasma cutters are all the rage. 
And plasma cutters are great tools. You can probably do a lot of what you want to do with some of the tools that you already have. In this case, the jigsaw. Here you can see how well these fit together, which is indicative of a good cut. And here's another cut. And if you'll notice where the arrow is pointing, slight imperfection. And that's probably where I wasn't holding the metal tight to the base of the jigsaw. Here I'm cutting some 20 gauge copper. Now this is getting pretty thin for cutting with the jigsaw. And I have to hold this very tightly. If I can maintain the tightness and keeping it flush against the base of the jigsaw, I'll get a clean cut.